a human augmentation research center is working to establish a new business field based on the human augmentation technologies. One is an, uh, a scientific research to clarify a uh, uh, change of the human function through the intervention. And the other is an engineering research to develop uh, a fundamental technologies of human augmentation. Our research is uh, focusing on uh, sensing of human function. And the second is a uh, modeling of the human functions in digital space such as digital human modeling, then we try to intervene to human in real time through the VR and robotics. So it requires different aspects uh, of the human and environmental technology, that's in the psychology or biology or biomechanics and healthcare and service engineering and design. That is the reason why we collect research scientists from the different uh, expertise to focus on these and uh, technologies. VR and uh, telehealth care technologies has lots of potentials for improving and helping conventional healthcare services such as rehabilitation. Here we have been developing MR cube wear and mannequin. MR cube stands for multimodal mixed reality for remote rehabilitation. MR cube wear is to measure the motion and the deformation of the patient upper limbs by using the constellation of strain sensors. And then strain sensors has good feature, which is actually high sensitivity and low hysteresis. And then MR cube mannequin is a kind of dummy at the remote therapist side of remote uh, a patient. There are so lots of pressure sensors on the complicated surfaces of, of the dummy. So by those uh, pressure sensors, we can convey the, the tactile information from the therapy site to patient site. Understanding human is important for the design and control robot. The robotics and human technologies are developing together by affecting each other. So it is important to know this complementary relationship between two technologies for better understanding. Our human musculoskeletal model is designed according to a robotic way. For example, so the human bones and muscles are modeled as mechanical. So we can apply so robotics computation for human kinematics and dynamics computation. DiverWorks is an ergonomic platform developed in our institute. Human simulation can be integrated to other functionalities like so CAD modeling or motion capture system. We are trying to measure human behaviors as natural as possible. So we developed flexible and wearable devices like Datlock sensors, which can measure human muscle activities for 24 hours. We are also working on applying video-based motion capture system to everyday situations so that we can measure human's natural behaviors continuously. And the real-time interventions realize the control of human himself or the environment in synchronization with his motion. We are trying to bridge from experimental situation to real environment, for example, to sports training for athletes. Virtual reality technology is very promising technology to improve the quality of working. So for example, we are working on a skill training system for restaurant staff. Our system is very unique for training of the customer service or human interaction. To make a customer agent behavior realistic, we rent out the real restaurant during lunch time and the, we recorded their action or behavior to evaluate the awareness or history of the priority judgment. So we believe that skill training system for VR is very good for uh, improving the quality of work we can contribute to develop a new society 
that help people work on a healthy way, both mentally and physically. We can co-create value in the virtual space. So oh, we should develop new interaction technology in the virtual space and cyberspace. We call it Interverse. In the future, the robotics not only support human physically, but also helps people to act with self-efficacy and agency and realize the vibrant society. We would like to contribute to the realization of human-centered and human-in-the-loop services and also those implementation in society in the field of AI and robotics for years to come.